Hello YouTube, sorry about my hair, I just woke up and everything, but I'm really excited because last night my dad, he got me a sewing machine, and the sewing machine is sitting right over there on the floor, and it looks so awesome just sitting there. Um, I have to read this boring book, but there's also a girl, her name's at the bottom of the screen, and she's really helping me how to use the sewing machine, and she's really awesome, like really awesome. But it's a brother um, project runway. It says it's limited edition, but it on the box it says it's limited edition, but not on the actual form that she like hers. So, yeah, and it cost one um one forty four, one forty four and seventy nine cents. So. I mean ninety seven cents at Walmart. Um, it comes with everything that you need, except for um. The, the thread you can buy the thread and all the thread and cloth and everything in that same section so i just wanted to share that with you guys and it's just so awesome i cannot wait to get started to use it and i will be making videos on how to make my own stuff so thanks all right hello youtube today i'm going to be showing you guys how to thread your um sewing machine and the the things that it comes with and stuff and where you can get the stuff and can have my glasses so you guys can see better but um I'm going to show you guys how to thread it, and it's really easy and, you know, stuff like that. So, here we go. I'm recording from a computer, so it might be a little bit harder for you guys to actually see. But here's the bottom part, and it should, like, come with a little sticker, because I haven't took the sticker off yet. But, um, it opens like this. You just pull it open, just like that. And it has, like, a baggie of stuff in it. So, you can take the bag open the back up and there's like a lot of cool stuff in there but um okay so i'm gonna show you guys all the cool stuff that's in this little bag um this little thing right here it is uh a button pedal um and you can use it to know how to sew um buttons okay so um i'm gonna show you guys that how to use it Okay, the way that you take off the header, it's like a little button back here. It's a black button, and it pulls it right off. Okay, and so there's like a little silver piece on here. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's like a little silver piece, just like that, right there. It's like a little silver piece. And you're going to take that silver piece and latch it onto the top, just like the regular one. Make sure your foot pedal is up and not down because if the foot pedal is down, then it will not work. So then you attach that to that and it works just like that. To take it off, you press that same button in the back and it comes right off. You put the regular one back on, you do the same thing. It's like a little silver piece and. and you want to make sure that black thing is in the back, and you just snap it on there. So, um, that's like a simple thing about it. Um, the next important thing that might be important is this little spool thing, just in case you break the spool at the top of the machine when you thread it. There's some needles in here. Should be like these are needles, I think. Size 14 needles. And there's um there's this thing that you use to hold that you use to hold the thread onto the thing, the threader. Use the small one for the small threads and use the big one for the bigger spool thread. And here's a bobbin threaded with black um yarn string. So I'm going to show you guys how to thread your machine. So like just keep watching and I'm going to show you guys how to thread it. And it's really simple and easy so um okay so this is how this is where I teach you guys and show you guys how to thread the actual machine. It's really dark over here so I'm gonna turn on the light I'll be right back. Maybe that helped just a tad bit. Um but Here's my sewing machine. I kind of put it down on the like on a stool because I'm recording from a um, Mac computer. So um, I'm gonna show you guys this here. 
Now, here is my sewing machine. Um, I put it down on a stool so that you guys can see it on my knees right now. So, I'm going to move that stool up closer. We're going to focus on threading our machine. I'm trying to get this to where you guys can see better. Okay. So, we're going to focus on threading our machine. Now, the first thing you're going to need is um, some yarn. You can use uh, the bigger spool. And the bigger spool looks like this. This is what the bigger spool looks like, and or you can use a smaller spool. I'm gonna use a smaller spool. Um, all those things that I showed you guys, um, you will not need. But the one thing that you are going to need is a piecing that you use to a piecing that you use to hold it on there, and you use the big one for the big spool, and you use small for small spool. So I'm gonna use the small. One. Now, when you first get the machine, this thing right here, you're going to pull it up and it should move just like that. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's my little brothers. They're playing the Wii. So, um, so you're going to stick the thread on there, okay, and your string should be hanging out towards you, just like that. Oops, I think, I think I did something wrong. So, hmm. Anyways, so um, the string should be hanging in the front of the machine, and so this little thing right here, it looks just like that. It should be inside the bag, and you stick it on there. Don't stick it on there too tight, because if you do, it won't be able to move, and don't stick it on there too, um, too much, like, way in the front, because it might fall, so... Just stick it to where it can move a little bit, just like that. Um, you can't lock it back, so just leave it like like it is. And here's where we start threading it. Um, let's see. Uh, there is a thingy over here. There's a thingy over here. You're gonna take your string. I'm going to thread my string some more because I have like a lot. So, um, but you're going to take it. It should be like a little thing right here. And you're going to take it and you're going to push it up into push it up into it. Stop it, Howard! In there. Just like that. And then there should be like a little piece right next to it and you're going to stick it through there too. And then there should be like another piece right here. And you're going to go under that and wrap over once. Then you're going to, um, let me see if I can get this. Uh, we're going to move this back a little bit. There's a front piece over here where we threaded our needle and stuff. Oops, I oh, forget about it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this. So after you do all that with the string, you're going to take it over here, and you should have a bobbin. The bobbin should be inside of the little baggie that we that I showed you guys, the little bag. And I'm going to reach in here and get the bobbin. Okay. If you can't find the bobbin in the bag, there's a bobbin on the thing, and I'm going to show you where that is in just a moment. So, after you grab your bobbin, you are going to take it, just like this, stick it on to the gray piece, and wrap it, wrap it around there until all the string that the access string that you have is gone. I have a lot of access strings, so I'm not going to really worry about that too much. I'm just going to cut it off. Okay, so after all your access string is wrapped around there, here's where your foot pedal comes in at. Um, oh, first you want to lock it like that. That way it makes a noise. So after you lock it, you take your foot pedal, which should be on the floor, and it looks like this. And you're going to take it and you're just going to press it down. And as you see, it, it's winding. The thread is winding on there. So, um, that's how you thread the machine. Thanks for watching. And now, um, 
I'm going to try to show you guys how to um, get started on using it. So keep watching and we're going to get Okay. Here is where I show you guys how to uh, start actually sewing. And here we're still kind of going to be working at the top of the machine. So it's going to be a little bit harder to use because it's not the floor anymore. So um, just do the same thing that I showed you guys at first. And I'm going to do it one more time so that you guys will know. So, after you have your bobbin threaded, which is this little thing right here, you're going to cut the excess piece off. So, after you cut that off, you can unlock it, and you should have a bobbin with a string on it. Next, next you're going to do is that you're going to take your string and it should already be in the process of which it was. You're just going to undo one process so that way you'll have it just like this. Mm, hold on. I'm trying to show you. That way you have it just like this. So what you're going to do is after you have it through there you, and you take it right here. After you have it in there in there after you have it through the little thing and through there I'm going to show you what to do next um dang it okay so after you have it through the back piece and coming up through here and if you don't really know what I'm talking about there's um numbers like this is number two and then number three so you're going to go through here and up in here and you're going to use your little there should be like a little thing on this side, like a little circle piece, and you're going to lift that up until you see something moving inside of here. And you're going to latch it through there and come back down, just like that. Here is where I can show you guys better. So keep watching and... Okay, this part is much easier. Um, first, you're going to take this this piece right here after I showed you guys and this part is going to be easier to show you because um, I can actually like show you guys so there should be a needle um, there should be like a little piece right here there should be like a little piece right there and so you're going to kind of hook the thread into that oh, hold on hold on hold on One second, please. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in there. It's never been this much of a problem right now. But right now it is. So, give me one second, please. Okay, <laughs> I got it in there. So, it's in there, that little piece right there. And now we're going to thread it. Now, they have a manual threader. You see this little foot piece right here? You pull that down. And I think I think you stick the, the, the thread through that little yellow piece it should be. And then into the needle. And then it, it threads it by itself. But I'm not really sure how to work that. So I just thread it on my own. Meaning I just put the thread in through the needle. Hold on. I'm going to put that down. So... It might take a little minute to thread for me because I'm not really used to threading things. So, Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, so after you do that, um, the bobbin that we had threaded already, which I cannot seem to find right now, which is right here. Okay, so this bobbin that we already have threaded, I'm going to show you what to do with it. Okay. On your machine, there should be like a little compartment down here. There should be like a button over here where you do that and it comes out just like that. When you first get your machine, there should already be a bobbin in here, but I just took it out to thread it. Um, before you put the bobbin in there, you want it to be like a, a letter P, not like you want it to be like, um, let me show you. you want the bobbin to be like a letter P. And then you stick it in there like that, meaning that the string comes out towards the front of the machine. And then there's little lines and stuff in there. 
and there's a loop that goes all the way through here. So there's a loop that goes all the way through here, and you're just going to lead the thread through there, and then it should cut it off just like that. So that way you can't really see it, it's just in there. Um, so now, after we do that, we're going to, I wanted to show you guys this. When you first get your machine, the foot pedal is going to be up. There's a little button over here that if you do, if you press on the foot pedal, it will not sew unless this button is down. So if you pull that button down and then you press the foot pedal, it will sew. So now that my button is down, I'm going to press the foot pedal. Um, you might want to press it like two to three times and then to lift it up you just pull that little circle piece over there hold on I have to fix the way I threaded mine because I threaded it the wrong way so I'm gonna have to re-thread it so just give me a second here give me a second here to re-thread it so after I re-threaded it I'm going to do it the right way. Howard, please listen to him. Lord have mercy. So after I thread it the right way, um, I'm going to press on my foot pedal. And it should bring out the little bobbin piece in here. It should bring out another string. So you keep pressing it until you see that string coming out. Okay, and then when the string comes out, you're going to pull the string. So that way you have two strings. And then you're ready to sew. So that's how you do that and it's really simple and now you're just gonna put the foot pedal up and to get the needle up you're gonna go over here to this little thing over here and you're gonna twist it up and the needle comes up at the same time as you can see. So when the needle comes out and the thread comes up that's how you know you're ready to sew. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Okay. So, so that's how you know you're ready to sew. But like I said, no matter how hard you push on your foot pedal, it will not sew until this little latch is down. Now we're going to be talking about the stitches really quick. The stitches are easy. The way you use the stitches are these little buttons up here. This first button, if it goes to the chain and then you lose the second line, then you you use the second line, you go to 11, and it will stitch number 11. I mean, it will stitch number 12. These other ones are for how far apart you want your stitching to be. So whatever number you do, that's whatever number it's going to stitch. So I did number 72, then it's going to stitch number 72. Okay, so... um. I'm going to show you with you guys some of the stitches that I've already been practicing on so that way you'll know like if they really work or not. Um, just let me cut off the access straining so that you guys can see it better. And then then I will show you then I will show you how I did it. It's really simple because basically the machine does the uh, cool stitchings by itself. You just have to know how to guide it a little bit. It's really super easy to guide the machine. So here are some patterns. Some, here are some patterns that I have here. This pattern right here. Let me show you guys. I started off with black, but then I started using white so that you guys can see better. But this pattern right here is, I believe, number. Um, this pattern is number twenty-seven. So I'm gonna show you guys number twenty-seven, which is right there. And here is the pattern for number 27. That's the pattern for number 27. And here is the pattern for number 62, which is down here, number 62. Here's the pattern. It's black, so you can't really see it. But that's the pattern for number 62. And the pattern for number... Let me see. What other pattern do I have? Um, I think it is the pattern for number... Um, dang. I can't really remember which pattern this was, but this is what it turned out to look like. 
and then um I have kind of like this is supposed to be like a leaf but I kind of messed it up and the leaf is pattern number 16 so that's how you use your basic sewing machine um if this video was not clear please tell me and I will try to make another video um from my phone and this is my phone right here so if I make a video for my phone then it would be a lot easier for you guys to see stuff because I'm making a video from a computer so it's kind of hard so um I might decide to redo some parts once I watch the video over on my phone so um yeah so I'm having fun and stuff so um if you guys have any questions or comments or subscribers just do it <laughs> okay